This is Tom Hartman with CityNetMagazine.com. We're at Montreal Comic Con 2014 with Monica Lee, one of the cosplayers here. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm fantastic now that I'm standing next to a beautiful Assassin's oh, Creed thank character. You. I'm sorry if I smell sweaty. It's a little moist in here. I was going to mention it to the fans, but uh, that's okay. It is. It's. Just plug your nose. Don't even. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you end up behind here with a line of fans? Uh, well, um, I started cosplaying when I was 13, so it's been about eight or so years. Um, and I guess I just I love making costumes, and I like to get you know things as accurate as possible, and I love just crafting things. Uh, as for you know being a guest at conventions as a cosplayer, that wasn't really a thing. Um, it's I think it's only been the past couple of years that people I guess were invited as guests and became I guess kind of authorities on cosplay. And I think uh, social media and internet really transformed that. Because uh, it didn't used to be a thing that's like, can I get your autograph? Do you sell prints? You know, like when I first started selling prints, like no one did it and everyone called me vain and egotistical. And now everyone's doing it. So it's, I mean, it's, it's really cool. Like I get to meet so many people and the fact that I get to travel for what I love, like it still astounds me. Uh, I'm just like, you, you want me to pay me to go to your, what? Like, like I, I got invited to a con in New Zealand and I was like, hell yes. Like. <laughs> I don't care if I cost well, I'll go regardless, you know? So, so it's these, been pretty cool. these fans who are coming to see you, um, are, are, do they generally have something in common? Or, are, like, do they want to become cosplayers themselves, or do they yeah, just appreciate um, the art? Well, so it's, I, I'd say it's one of two. Uh, it's cosplayers and cosplay fans, which is also, I guess, kind of a new development. Uh, so people that just love cosplay and nerdy things. So like, if someone's a big fan of like Bioshock, they're like, oh, I love your Bioshock costume. We get to talk about the game. And it's just really cool. It's a, it's a great way to bond, you know? And I think it's also people who want to start cosplaying, and I always try to encourage people to do it because, you know, we love it for a certain reason, and I think it'd be great if everyone could try it. Where are you cosplaying? Me? Oh, this is my cosplay. Oh, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a fake professional uh, oh, news you just guy. The camera guy. That's, That's exactly amazing. right. Oh, it works very well. <laughs> Uh, now I have to ask because this yeah. really, this cosplay industry has has really grown over the last couple it's an of years. Industry now, isn't that it weird? really is. It like because the fact that cosplay can be called an industry is just that didn't exist, you know. So I think it's in such growing pains right now, and it's such a transitional phase going from being a small community to now, you know, there's TV shows and there's guests at conventions and people sell things like for cosplay. It's just like it's so bizarre. Right. Yeah. Well, my two-part question then yeah, would sorry. be. Uh, <laughs> Uh, where do you where do you imagine cosplay might ch like go in the next five years? How might it evolve? Oh my God, you gave me a stumper. Uh, <laughs> How would you hope that it would evolve? I mean, ideally, I'd, I'd hope it'd be one of those things that everyone could take a part of, and that maybe there could even be cosplay dedicated conventions, because because cosplay grew as I guess a facet of conventions, and so not everyone takes a part of it or sees it. But I think it'd be awesome that more people can take part of it and can join in it, and like even like big companies can embrace it, like. Video game companies are now embracing cosplayers to represent their games and like you know, represent them and stuff. And so I think it'd be cool if the professional world would kind of embrace us too. <laughs> a nice hug and <laughs> just like I, I just think like I just want more people to do it because to see you know this is why I love it and I think you could enjoy it too. Well, personally, I love to see um, more cosplayers take on more in individual characters mm -hmm. where they you create your own. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, have you ever thought of that about that before? Um, I might. I mean, the reason I do it is because I love to show my love for like video games and uh, anime and various movies and stuff uh, so I've, I've kind of played around with it but for me I like my way of expressing my love for video games is like hey I cosplay this thanks you know Excellent. and so that's why I like to do it all right so do you have any advice for people who want to get into it uh, that first step uh, mm -hmm. you know stepping outside of the house inside their costume uh, oh, for sure. about choosing their costume or making their costume or buying it do you have any advice for someone yeah, who wants to start advice. Well, let's hear it uh, well first I always tell people to use Google because uh, nowadays it's actually extremely easy to become a cosplayer or become to you know start your first cosplay because people put out tutorials and resources everywhere. It's like you know there's wig stores where back in the day, like back in the day, uh, it used to be hard to find those kind of things. And so I always tell people like the more you you talk about it and hype it up, you might scare yourself. So I think if you just try it and get a feel for it, like that you're doing it, you know? Like whether it be, you could buy it, you know? If you buy it, you're a cosplayer. If you make it, you're a cosplayer. You know, as long as you're 
I guess, wearing and embodying that character, like you're cosplaying. So I always tell people not to be afraid and to always just like go for it because you'll love it so much and you'll have so much fun and you'll meet so many like-minded people. Like I know the draw for me was this kind of like, oh, no one understands me kind of thing, you know? And then I got there and I was like, oh, these guys get me, you know? <laughs> and it's such a nostalgia factor and it's just, it's really overwhelming kind of to find people, like like-minded people. And I think that's why cons are so great because everyone can kind of get together and bond in their nerdliness. <laughs> All right, excellent. So just a couple of quick uh, fast questions for you. Sure. Um, you let's say you were in an interview and you had to describe uh, yourself in three words. So oh, what Christ. three words would you assign to yourself? Um, oh my lord, foodie. Right. Or I'm, uh, I'll exchange foodie for hungry. <laughs> hungry. <laughs> um, loud and sarcastic maybe? <laughs> I'll take that, I'll take that. I don't know. There's too many words to describe me. <laughs> and would you, for the guys out there, would you have any advice for, the for them about women? Oh god, I don't know. I mean, I've been with the same guy for two years. I don't even know how that happens. So. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> That's what I say. Perfect. And so if you had to, you're surrounded by celebrities here. Uh -huh. If you had to meet a celebrity, either alive or oh dead, who would so, you want to meet? I'm a huge Battlestar Galactica fan, Excellent. and uh, Katie Sackhoff and Trisha Helfer were sitting next to us yesterday, uh, and they moved them, which I'm very sad about, but there was a second where Katie Sackhoff looks over, she's looking at my pictures, and I'm like, Starbuck is looking at me, what do I do? <laughs> and I was just like, hey, and it was, it was a whole thing, <laughs> but I just, I mean, everyone here is super cool, like Patrick Stewart's super awesome, so if you guys aren't here, you should be. Excellent. And so for yourself, my last question is yes. for yourself. For the next couple of years, where do you envision yourself? Uh, well, I am a full-time student at Georgia Tech, uh, majoring in industrial design. And so ideally, if and when I graduate, um, I hope and I should have a job at uh, Blizzard Entertainment, which is a video game company in Southern California. Uh, so I guess I'm moving from Atlanta to California. <laughs> That sounds so exciting. <laughs> yes, so I, I'm super excited to finish school, so I can go do that. <laughs> Excellent. So where can we find out more about you? Uh, Google me, Monica Lee. You'll find I, I'm on the internet, you know? That's where I live. Excellent. This is all a figment. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, yeah. sir. I'm excited to see your cosplay. You know what? Next year, I'm really going to live it up. Yeah. <laughs> this is Tom Hartman with CityNet Magazine. Thank you for watching.